So this is Madison's change table. It is the Love and Care Elite change table in white. And this is how we keep it organized and packed with all the things that we need it to have. So this is the bottom shelf, full to the brim as you can see. So at the back there we have two boxes of nappies. Now those nappies are the next size up from the ones that she is wearing currently. And then we've got some wipes. Now these are wipes that I've had from before Madison was born. I had quite a collection of wipes at the beginning, almost 3,000 wipes. So I am starting to try and get through them all. So here's the two brands that I have here. So the Coles Comfy Bots and the Curash. I do have a wipe preference now that Madison is over six months old. I have definitely decided which wipes I like and my favorite wipes to use for her are the Huggies Thick Baby Wipes, fragrance free if possible. Here are just some spare nappies of the size that she is in now. And here is a scub organizer available from Ikea with swimmers nappies. Here is the middle shelf and the main shelf that I use every day. So we'll start from the back. There are two boxes of my favorite Huggies Thick Baby Wipes, fragrance free. Now the reason they're on this shelf is because they don't fit on the bottom shelf with the boxes of nappies because as she's got bigger, so have the boxes of nappies. So they are going there. And then I've got three scub organizers. So this scub organizer here is full of the smaller packets of wipes. This one I will actually pull out because it's actually got quite a bit of stuff in it. So this has all the random things that I guess come into play. So these are actually puppy training pads. Now you're probably wondering why I have them and they're essentially like blueies that you get in hospital and we have them because we were putting them in Madison's sleep bag between her and her sleep bag only because she was having a night feed and then when she was sleeping through the 12 plus hours she was actually wetting through and it was getting onto her sleep bag and having to wash her sleep bag every day just either wasn't good for the sleep bag and obviously isn't great to be having to wash something and then have to put it in the dryer because it doesn't dry in a normal amount of time because it's thick so that's why we have those. She doesn't actually need them now because she actually doesn't have a dream feed. So she only has the one bottle before bed and then she sleeps through. Uh, nappy bags. So we do use a nappy bin, which I'll show you in a bit, but we have these nappy bags to go in her uh, changing bag and we just have them there in case. Uh, cotton wool and baby cotton tips couple of samples that I got from hospitals so I just put them there just in case we ever decide to use them a trial bopanthan which we actually use bopanthan and then there's like curash and just a few others we've got a spare dummy clip or one of our old dummy clips because she has a nice one that she uses so that one's a bit just in case we need it and there's a big tub of pseudo cream which I'm not actually going to get out so we'll just put that back oh where it goes and then the scub on the end is just full of bibs and we actually have a scub full of bibs out in our living room but this is just in case we need them when she's on the change table or in her bedroom so this is a refill cartridge for our nappy bin and this is the tommy tippy sangenic one or one of their ones um, I only have one here at the moment because this is the last one I have left and I actually have an order of some coming in the post and then I will probably put maybe another one and then I will probably just put the box away and get the box out when we go through the two. And then I have nappies. So I have two scubs full of nappies and I think it's just we go through them like hotcakes as they say. So. I just thought it was better to have two whole scubs full of them and that essentially holds nearly half a sleeve of nappies which is good and just keeps them all neat and compact which I like. So this is the top of 
the change table we just have a change pad and it actually has a soft pink fabric cover we do also use disposable change mat covers on top of this when we need them obviously for like dirty nappies and things it just stops any stains getting on this and then having to wash this as often so these are the things that I have on the top so we have Bepanthen which is our choice of barrier cream we have hand sanitizer this one's Dettol we have a comb for combing her hair wow that's really faded we have this Huggies I guess like hard case nappy wipe thing so the wipes come out of there whatever wipes you need but we do like Huggies but we can put obviously anything in there we have this which is like a noise maker thing if you have watched my newborn essentials video you will know that I absolutely love 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 this I'll actually link it down below if you would like to watch it and then we have this baby moisturizing lotion this was a gift it's an Avon one it seems to work I'm just sort of going through all of the ones that we have still and before I obviously buy any more but Madison's skin seems to be fine with all of those last but not least our nappy bin so this is the Tommy Tippy Sangenic nappy bin and as you can imagine this is the cartridge this you put the nappy in um, you push it down or you have it down pre-pressed like I do and then you just spin this and it ties it off and then you obviously just when you're done you just tie it off and you carry the bottom bin outside to put the nappies in I've not had a problem with smell or anything like that I absolutely love my nappy bin and I'm really glad that I have it probably the only downside to this nappy bin is the cartridge cost Thanks for watching this video on how I organize Madison's change table. I hope you liked it. My main advice is to have everything that you need and if there's a cheap way to keep it all organized and categorized, that is great. My tip is to use the scub organizers from Ikea. This isn't a sponsored video. I just think they're really affordable and they just work wonders. I even use them in Madison's chest of drawers in my nursery video if you'd like to check that out i will leave it in the description below but i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any vlogs or parenting mummy content and i will see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.